It is the second day of the trial of a former Badger football player charged in the 2020 murders of two Janesville women. Marcus Randall faces two felony charges of first degree intentional homicide as well as felony weapons related charges in the shooting deaths of 27 year old Brittany McAdory and 30 year old Sierra Winchester. He has pleaded not guilty. Our Catherine Merck joins us live from the Rock County Courthouse in Janesville to tell us what happened in court today. Catherine. Court has officially ended for today, and as for day two of the trial, we got to see a glimpse of some of the moments from the early morning hours of February 10th, the scene that Janesville police responded to that would eventually become the site of a double homicide. Ma'am, ma'am, Officer Buzzy, blink if you can hear me. This is part of the body camera footage. The officers who first arrived to Midvale Drive in Janesville responded to an injured Brittany McAdory and Sierra Winchester. It's graphic video, so we're not showing you everything that was part of the body cam footage that was shown in court today. We also saw the last moments that the two women were seen together at a nearby gas station. Along with this video, officers described multiple pieces of evidence found at the crime scene, like bullet fragments, shell casings, and blood in the snow. One of the officers described the moment he spoke with one of the victims at the scene. So I, I kept trying to tell her to keep breathing. Um, I did ask her at one point of what happened, um, just trying to get any information whatsoever. Um, and then while I was standing there, um, EMS personnel arrived and tended to her and I assisted them. We also saw photo evidence of the car where Marcus Randall L. allegedly fled the scene. Police said the car had evidence which included blood stains and bullet remnants. Like you said, Marcus Randall is pleading not guilty to these charges. Reporting live in Janesville, I'm Catherine Merck for News 3 Now. Catherine, thank you.